In this first module on population in Chapter 5, Module 5.1, I will cover foundational concepts, including derivation of the balancing equation and the relationship of arithmetic and geometric change, as well as between geometric and exponential growth. Population models are concerned with rate of change in population numbers. If the number in a population is 100 at the beginning of a week and 120 at the end of the week, then its rate of change would be the arithmetic rate of 20 per week. To convert this to a demographic rate, this population is growing at the geometric rate of 20 per 100, which means that every individual is increasing its number by 20%, or 1.2 fold per week. The arithmetic rate, denoted r star, is given by the model r star equal the number at time t plus 1 minus number at time t, which when rearranged equals the number at time t plus 1 equal the number at time t uh, plus r star. The demographic rate, denoted r, is given by the model r equal the number of time uh, t plus 1 minus the number of time t all over the number of time t. When rearranged, this uh, equals number of time t plus 1 equal the number of time t times 1 plus r. Projections of these rates yield different results. Arithmetically, a population of 1,000 individuals growing at 250 individuals per year will have grown by 500 at the end of two years and by 750 by the end of three years. Geometrically, a population growing at 25% per year will have grown by 562 in two years and 953 in three years. Note that the arithmetic series will have a common difference between numbers. For example, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 is an arith arithmetic series with a difference of 2. And the geometric series will have a common ratio. For example, the series 1, 3, 9, 27, and 81 is a geometric series with a common ratio of 3. Population growth rate involves geometric growth in discrete time, as well as in exponential growth in continuous time. Balancing equation. The simplest population model is the crude rate model that relates the total population this year to the total population last year. This is based on the balancing equation, where if we let last year represent the initial population at time zero, denoted population zero, then the balancing equation is given as population at time one equal to population at time zero, plus births, minus deaths, plus in-migrants, minus out-migrants. Assuming that the population is close to migration, and therefore excluding in and out migration, we can define the following. Births equal population at time zero times B. Deaths equal population at time zero times D, where B and D denote the per capita birth and death rates respectively. Therefore, we have population at time one equal the population at time zero plus the population at time zero times B, minus the population at time zero times d, equals the population at time zero times one plus b minus d. Note that if b minus d equals zero, the population is at replacement. If b is greater than d, the population is increasing, and if b is less than d, the population is decreasing. Now, the population at time 2, that is t equal 2, or population at time 2, is population at time 2 equal the population at time 1 times 1 plus b minus d. So this can be expressed as population at time 0 times 1 plus b minus d times 1 plus b minus d. But because the formula for population at time 1 can be substituted, Thus, we have population at time 2 can be given as population at time 0, that is the initial population, times 1 plus b minus d squared. The relationship for t number of time units is population at time t equal the initial population, that is a population at time 0, times 1 plus b minus d to the tth power. 
by substituting nt for pop t and lambda for 1 plus uh, b minus d yields nt equal n times 0 lambda raised to the teeth power. This expression gives the discrete or geometric version of population growth. This model can be rephrased in terms of exponentials by taking logs of both sides and defining r equal ln e to the lambda. Therefore, ln n of t equal t ln lambda plus t ln uh, number at time zero equal rt plus number at time zero. Thus, nt equal e raised to the rt times uh, number at time zero. Note the numerical relationship between geometric and exponential growth it has two parts. First, at low r values, e to the teeth power equal 1 plus r. Second, geometric and exponential growths are interrelated as number at time t equal e to the rt, that's exponential growth, then ln nt equal rt. Number in uh, time t equal lambda raised to the teeth power, that's geometric growth. So we take ln nt equal t ln lambda. Thus we have ln nt equal ln nt. The first in continuous time, the second in discrete time. Then rt equal t ln lambda. Therefore r equal ln lambda and lambda equal e to the r. In other words, the geometric rate of population increase equals the exponent e raised to the rth power. There are a number of assumptions of the crude rate model or balancing equation, including one, the population is homogeneous, that is, it has no age structure. Two, the birth and death rates are fixed. And three, the population is closed to migration. Whereas some of these assumptions may be limiting, this model has provided a foundation for the development of more complicated models as will be described in subsequent modules. This ends this first module of Chapter 5 on Population.